What I'm going to talk about now is um, may seem a little bit strange and probably something that you you wouldn't even wouldn't even cross your mind to think about. But a lot of patients have, have been and spoken to me and asked why after they've had this surgery they've got such a bad breath. Um, and I know it seems like a strange thing to talk about, but it, it is a question that comes up, so I'm going to talk about it. The one thing that you need to bear in mind is three weeks prior to your weight loss surgery, you've lived on a diet of milk. So, and milk can ferment sometimes in your digestive system and make you windy and make you burp. So that doesn't contribute to having the the freshest smelling breath ever. Um, Then you'll fast from midnight the night before your surgery. So you can have a dry mouth. Um, And then we give you anesthetic gas, which gives you bad breath. So for the first day or so after surgery, you're not going to be the, the, the nicest smelling person in the world with your breath. But that does pass. The reason for the bad breath is because after your surgery, you're taking on a lot fewer calories. So you're actually burning your own body fat for fuel, and that can make your breath smell a little bit. You're also eating predominantly protein, which can also make your breath a little bit smelly. So the one thing to bear in mind when you're on the ward is make sure that the nurse are offering you oral care in the first 24 hours. Just a wet sponge or um, a lemon flavoured stick just to wet your mouth and wet your tongue. And that'll make you feel a lot better. The first couple of weeks after surgery, just use a mouthwash, brush your teeth regularly, even more regularly than you would normal. It's really quite normal to have um, a bit of a naff breath to start with, but this does pass and it's not something you need to worry about. And as far as the nurses on the wards go, and especially nurses in recovery, believe me, they will have smelt worse. So please don't worry about it.